I have a new addiction and I'm going to share it with you. <laughs> I'm going to add stencils along with watercolors and embossing folders to my new addiction. <laughs> Now, I thought I'd share a fun card with you today, a really simple one, using the Tranquility Rose Stamp and Coordinating Stencil Set from Altenew. What I'm doing here is I've got a piece of scrap paper and I'm kind of planning out the design of my card. These roses are enormous and I just wanted them to be kind of create like a background. So I do use my stamp set as a guide just to sort of hover over the top and see what I think might fit and you might notice I do change my mind along the way too because <laughs> I don't do those two little leaves I actually come in with the other leaf now this is the simple coloring stencil set that coordinates with the Tranquility Rose there's four sheets of stencils and it also comes with all the positive portions and Lily she loves it you can tell actually what she really likes is the ink blending tools and she likes to help <laughs> anyway back to work what I like to do is actually hold my stencils in place while I actually add the color I'm lazy I don't always tape them down and then I'll get annoyed when they shift but typically I don't find that they shift too much because these blending brushes are very soft and don't move um, the plastic around too much I just chose some of the cherry blossom colors here and there is actually the whole three layers for this set actually there might be four basically not all of the coloring stencils come with every layer for the flower some of them only actually have like the shadow layers but this particular set has the base layer as well so you can create the whole flower with just the stencils so I chose not to use the very base layer of the flower here today and I have only used two of the shading layers and my flowers I did change up the colors that I'm using because that'll give you a totally different look for a flower I used the lighter pink on the lower flower and on the upper one I started with the second darkest pink and then worked my way up from that way now like I said these actually have positive portions as well and what I'm doing here is just protecting my flower image while I add my leaves and I'm just using the, um, some of the positive portions out of the set to do that now the leaves I didn't use the base layer either I only just used the shading layer and I've got some of the frayed green so this is the greens that I'm using today are from the green field set classic ultra new colors and I do want to come in and actually stamp out the outlines here I wasn't sure if I, I was in two minds I wanted to do them in black but then I thought it'd be fun to do them in a color so let me know what you think do you think it would look better in the black because I did want the outline of the rose to be a little bit offset and when I came in with the pink layer here on the lower rose it actually stamped perfectly it wasn't offset at all <laughs> Who would have thunk that, right? <laughs> so then on the top one, it probably looks a little bit weird because that one is a little bit offset, which is what I was going for and would have looked better in the black. But hey, I wanted this to be a subtle background really for my 50th floral birthday card for a good friend of mine. You know who you are. <laughs> and anyway I wanted to share this with you today I this is a new to me product it's been around for a while and I've actually had it for a while but not actually used it but it's called sticky specs and it's just really small dots of adhesive and there's stacks of them so I think the theory is that it will only pick up the adhesive on the areas that touch it so like 
the way that I use my dotted adhesive I'll just run that over the top of something and then actually pat the edges down to get the bits of adhesive that do sit out the sides I did find that this set out the sides more than my dotted adhesive but it was definitely a lot stickier and it's more like I suppose using a Xyron so I'm going to have a bit of fun playing with this product soon and I just thought it'd be a really good thing to try it out with this tall and skinny alpha set because I love this sentiment <laughs> for a 50th and I did initially actually cut a white version of the 5 but it was too hidden so I did come in and add the black with some splatters I'll just gently say that quietly <laughs> and I don't know if I'm doing this right but I did watch a video a while ago when I bought the product and this is what they did and you don't have to once you use a portion you can keep coming back and using it until there's no sort of stick left so I did make a mark on the section that I was picking up the adhesive from it's not actually in stock at the moment I apologize but I will be playing with it a little bit more and let you know my thoughts on this adhesive you know me I have drawers of the stuff and I love trying it out <laughs> All right, thanks so much for joining me today. If you did like today's video, please click on the thumbs up button. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. I appreciate every visit that you make here. I will link everything that I've used today in the description below and also at my blog. Otherwise, head to Alan Hudson. There's always lots of fun stuff there. Till next time, happy paper crafting. Bye.